Hello Star Wars fans, this is JAR369, welcome back for another figure review. Today I'll be taking a look at the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Darth Vader Rogue One version made by Hasbro. Oh boy, Hasbro, Hasbro has released another version of Vader, but in a good way. So let's take a look at the packaging. The packaging is just a usual, well, Star Wars the Vintage, the Vintage Collection packaging. You get the uh, a nice image of Vader from that one iconic scene from Rogue One, where Vader goes around slaughtering every uh, the Rebel soldiers, trying to get the Death Star plan. And you get the warning choking hazard there. Star Wars Rogue One. You get his name. You can see the window exposing the figure and his accessory. You get the little Kenner logo right there. On the back here. You got other figures from the uh, vintage wave. Like Captain Rex. The Mandalorian in his Beskar armor. Hondo Onaka. The armor which I have her. Moth Gideon, which is I also have her have him, but I'm not gonna review this figure because I'm gonna wait until my um, retro collection version of Moth Gideon that I pre-ordered from Amazon to arrive in July. So you might wait. So I might wait to do a figure comparison between the retro version and the um, the vintage collection version. And you get the Arc Trooper 5s and Turret Mway. So that's about it for the packaging. Now let's release Vader, Vader out of the package. Here we got Lord Vader out of the package. Take a look at the figure here. Let's take a look at the head sculpt here. Come on. Focus. Focus. Take a look at the head sculpt here. Did he really not too bad of a job with this head sculpt here? Not too bad at all, not too bad. You get the red eyes here. Which is makes sense because he did appear with red eyes in both Rogue One and A New Hope. Since Rogue One is basically a prequel to A New Hope. And so does the uh the Black Series version of Lord of Darth Vader. He does have the red eyes on that as well. You can see some metal parts are painted in where his mask area is like the little like sharp areas there and the uh, little nose there and you can see the little mouth there sculpting on with the little straight lines not too bad on the helmet I like the metallic paint well the reflection on it looks really not too bad at all you get the soft cape here which I'm gonna admit, it looks, it looks a bit too big for me, but I'm okay with cloth capes, but yeah, it's it's still a little too big for my taste. I mean, it's not bad, but it still looks too big. And you get the little soft plastic cape here, which is also not too bad. Did a really great job with the uh, the little rope here I like the um, the plastic so the plastic rubber cape instead of the soft cloth cape because it really messes up the figure quite a little bit you get the little buttons there a little green button here and the red button and more red buttons there and you get a switch and you get a little speaker there and you get more buttons there on around his belt there with the little green and red dots there and the little silver dots as well. Nothing much on the uh, the arms here, just plain black, but with the uh, little silver shoulder pads on each side. You get like the little wrinkles on the sleeves as well. You get the little nice texturing details on there. The gloves, not too bad at all. You get the little metallic paint to it. And you can see some texturing as well. And you can see one hand is like doing this, which you can actually pose him doing the force choke. You know, the force choke is going 
be careful not to choke on your aspirations, director. While the other hand has him, like, I'm going to say holding for his lightsaber. But I'm going to display him with the lightsaber doing like this. If you look at the car back that I showed you earlier. I might display him like that, where he slaughters all the rebel soldiers. And you get a little crotch area plate here, which is also really had like a little metallic reflection going on here. And you get the little sculpted there as well. Take a look at the legs here, nothing much, it's plain all black, but you get a little texturings and the little wrinkles sculpting on. The boots, not too bad of the sculpting on this area here, but the feet area, you, like a like just like the helmet and the gloves and the crotch area piece, it does have the little metallic paint on it. On the bottom, there's some pegles on the bottom feet and some legal stuff. I'm not sure about these pegles here. It looks like they're useless to me now. Because if you want to display him with the uh, display stand, yeah, I don't think it might work. So overall, for this figure, it's not too bad. They did a really great job. I like it. I really do like this figure so much. For articulation, just the standard vintage collection articulation. You can see the little ball jointed head there. The arms do go fully rotate and does go in and out. Bend at the elbows, rotate at the elbows. The wrist, the glove area does rotate. There's some waist rotation as well. Legs kicks forward in this weird wide shape direction. But it does go in and out. Like so. Bend at the knees, rotate at the knees. Rotation at the ankles. And the ankles do go pit forward back. And that's about it. Overall, for the articulation, it's not too bad. You can still make great pose abilities with this figure. For accessories, he only came with one accessory, which is his signature lightsaber. They did really not too bad of a job with his the lightsaber hilt there. And on the blade there, not too bad at all. Let's put on... You can put on each of the hands here. You can either put on this hand here. But for me, I'm going to put on the where his choking hand is. Like so. And there you go. And you have Darth Vader with the um, holding the lightsaber, slaughtering some rebel soldiers. So overall for this figure, I like it. I really love how this figure looks. Very well like from the from the movies and the um and the New Hope. But there's some been problems with this figure because of the uh the white because the Y shaped leg articulation and the cape is a bit too long. Yeah, they might need to fix that with the cape here. Don't get me wrong, I really do love this figure. But, like I said, the leg articulation and the cape, it just looks... Yeah. It just looks... I don't know. It just looks bad on me for this figure. But, like I said, it's still a great figure. I highly recommend getting this for your Star Wars collection or your Rogue One collection. If you already have a... Another version of Darth Vader, you know, the fully articulated figure. Then it's an easy pass for your... This is an easy pass for you. But if you really... But if you're a complete Darth Vader complete, completist, then this is a, a great figure for your collection. Now for my rate, I'm going to give the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Darth Vader figure... I'm going to go with an 8 out of 10. Yeah, an 8 out of 10 for me. So that's about it. Make sure to tune, to 
to tune in for new videos daily. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share this video, and comment on this video. Don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you can be notified new videos after you subscribe so you won't miss any new uploads. And you can be part of the notification squad. Finally, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both links will be in the description down below. That's all I can say. This is the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Darth Vader figure Rogue One version made by Hasbro. And this is JAR369. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on my next review.